Fella. That's my boy. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. I'd like to know... So, how do you like it in Ratai? It's a big town with good strong walls, so I suppose we're safe here. And they took us in in our hour of need, but... For how much longer? They'll grow tired of us soon enough. How are the Scallets folk getting on? They're alive, that's the main thing. They have shelter, but they're just scraping by. Rattay's citizens aren't happy the town is full of beggars who don't look like leaving anytime soon. Do you know anything about those human rapists? About, you know? They came to Hungary from God knows where, and now they... Well, folk tell awful stories about them. I hope I never see them again. That's all. Have you got a moment? I'd like to ask a few questions about scallops. I don't remember much. All right. What do you want to know? How did you get me away from scallops? It wasn't easy. Sir Robard and his men helped load you on a wagon and we harnessed an old nag the bandits had left behind. The soldiers escorted us all the way here. God bless them. What about the bandits? Sir Robard and his men routed them. They killed the few, but the giant who attacked you fled, and Zibishek with them. They won't be safe in Scalitz for a while yet. Why would Zibishek do that? I never thought much of him, but banditry... He was always a nasty piece of work. It doesn't surprise me he joined them. If you knew what he did to me... Tell me. When those... humans, they call them... When the Cumans came, Zibishek pushed me out in front of them and fled. He sacrificed me to save his own hide. That bastard. Where's the sword I had? You had a sword? It's gone now. Those scum took everything, including your horse. I don't give a damn about the horse. I stole it anyway. But my father forged that sword for Sir Radzik. I promised father I'd take it to him. I have to get it back. Well, you can't. Just be thankful you're still alive. What happened to the other survivors from Scalitz? They sought refuge in Rattay. And some of the Rattay folk are none too happy about it. And Matthew, Fritz and Matthias? Johanka? Did they make it? They're alive. I heard Matthias is at the stud farm in Merhoyed. Johanka is in Sassau. And Fritz and Matthew, well, you know them. They're up to no good somewhere. The only trouble they'll be in is of their own making. What about Sir Radzig? Sir Hanush, he's the Lord of Rattay. He gave his lower castle to Sir Radzig, a place called Perkstein. Sir Hanush lives at the upper castle. The Scalitz folk have made camp in front of it. 
How did you get away from those Cumans? You're wrong. If it hadn't been for you... When they came to the mill, they slaughtered everyone. They kept me for last. After you distracted them, I fled to the mines to find my brother, but he... My brother was dead, but I owe my life and more to you. And I owe mine to you. The scales are balanced. I won't trouble you anymore. Let's leave it be. Greetings. What do you need? What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Sir Hanush is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that wastrel Sir Hans takes over. That will be a sorry day. What's life like in Ratai? We got sturdy walls and two castles to protect us. There's not many towns have that. And we got everything we need here. We got an apothecary, a swordsmith, an armorer, 
We got a beautiful church and fine alehouses. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Well, they have it tough, no doubt. But there's not enough room for them here. How much longer will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the plague with him? Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? I don't know if it's just old wild tales, but I heard truly terrible things. Do neděle hrají muziko veselé, gatiska má rozsahrné, sláma trčí. God be with you. What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Sir Hanush is a good lord. Things won't be the same when the wastrel Sir Hans takes over. That will be a sorry day. What's life like in Ratai? Well, this is a manorial town, and our lord hasn't got himself tangled up in affairs of state, so it's peaceful here. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Well, they have it tough, no doubt, but there's not enough room for them here. How much longer will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the plague with him? Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Don't talk to me about that fucking rabble. A soldier was saying in the alehouses them barbarians impale people on spikes, rape women, they hold nothing sacred, the filthy heathens. Farewell.
Good evening. What's life like in Ratai? Life is good here. Even better if them damn refugees would only vanish. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Don't talk to me about that fucking rabble. A soldier was saying in the alehouse them barbarians impale people on spikes, rape women. They hold nothing sacred. The filthy heathens. May the Lord watch over you. God be with you. What can I do for you? What's life like in Ratai? This is a manorial town, and our lord hasn't got himself tangled up in affairs of state, so it's peaceful here. Good luck, then. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Thvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? I may not look the part, but I know about honour and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Have pity on me. A poor wreck. Sigismund and his murderers took everything I had. Whatever you can spare. Good evening. Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats, but it's us that has to suffer for it. Same as always. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they? How does life in Ratai suit you? It'd be fine if we didn't have to sleep in hovels and beg for arms. And the bailiff is always on our backs, the bastard. But what can we do? We've got nowhere else to go. Take care.
A word in your ear. Good day to you. What are you hanging around for? Don't you have any work to do? No, I don't. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only, I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point. But keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket back into mine, where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? I'm not a thief. Find someone else. A pox on you, your kin and all your descendants. Call yourself a Christian, turning your back on a neighbour in need. Good luck to you. I'm from Scalit's good folk. You all know what happened there. Help your neighbour. How? What are you doing here? I took you for dead. Oh, it's a long story. What about you? How did you get out of Scalit's? Oh, you wouldn't believe it. A frightful storm broke that night and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Sir Radzig would use a storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away, as quiet as mice, while no one watched. In the morning when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. I wish I could have seen their faces. <laughs> so do I. You tricked them nicely. See you later. Good evening. Take care. Here, I'll not leave you to go without. Thank you, thank you kindly. God be with you. May the Lord watch over you. See you survived. Aren't you observant? You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get out of here. You bastard. But
I'll squash you. Sod it! Way off. Curse it! I'll gut you like a rabbit. About that money you owe me. Fine, I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got. But maybe I could... Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. The hell with that. I want my money, and right now. Then... I don't know what I can do for you. About that money you owe me. Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. All right, then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Very well, then. Talk. When we were running from Scalettes, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. By the way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dovecote. Under a dovecote? And that's it? That's all I know. How many dovecots could there be in Scalettes? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. My respects to you. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Terrible things. Horrible. I hear they skin people alive. And what they do to the womanfolk. Better take your own life than fall into their hands. 
beasts they are. Animals. Take care now. Bread, bread, golden pretzels. With salt, caraway seeds, garlic, and more, you'll find it. N Good evening. May the Lord watch over. I'd like to discuss the price. Have a look at these cucumbers. They'll stay firm all winter. Buy them before someone else does. Satisfied? Well, no. A little more, and we'll shake on it. Is this enough? Well, no. A little more, and we'll and shake on it. Happy. Onions that'll make you cry, and garlic that'll keep evil spirits Very well. at bay. I agree.
put a smile on your face. Flour, egg, salt, yeast. Let it bake a bit. We'll be able to feed the whole family with fresh bread. Heavens, lad. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. We're feeling as good as new. Well, I'm glad to hear it. About that dad. It'll take me a while longer. I understand. There's no hurry. I'm sure you'll like your bit. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ushitz. He could teach you. Good day to you. What do you need? Did you find out what actually happened? They say Sigismund is at war with the Czech lords and abducted the king. And our lord sides with Wenceslas. How does life in Ratai suit you? Them Ratai folk would rather drive us out of here. They won't give us no work and they won't let us beg. So what are we supposed to do? Fucking war. Farewell. If we're good neighbors, I lived like you did till Scarlet was burnt to ashes. Good evening. How does life in Ratai suit you? I suppose it was kind of them to take us in, but then they just left us to fend for ourselves. 
Nobody gives a damn about us. Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of her silver and how Sir Radzik sides with a king. Take care. God be with you. How does life in Ratai suit you? I suppose it was kind of them to take us in. But then they just left us to fend for ourselves. Nobody gives a damn about us. Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of our silver and how Sir Radzik sides with the king. Good luck to you. She made last night to old Tonda from Tabor, the one I buy goods from. And he said right away he'll take them. And how much do I want for them? Well, now. I was surprised myself. But I wasn't sure Betty would even want to sell them. So I asked for a high price. And he says that's fine. And started counting out the coin there and then. Just like that? What I heard about him is a right skin flint. And what did Betty have to say? She was pleased, as you can imagine. Even more when I told her Tonda will take everything she makes. That's great! A bit of extra coin never hurts. You brought up. Don't you know you have to have a light after dark? Greetings. Well met. I'm from Scalic's good folk. You all know what happened there. Help. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes.
Good health to you. How does life in Ratai suit you? It'd be fine if we didn't have to sleep in hovels and beg for arms. And the bailiff is always on our backs, the bastard. But what can we do? We've got nowhere else to go. Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats, but it's us that has to suffer for it, same as always. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they? God be with you. I'll be with you. Watch over you.
Good health to you. God be with you. Good morning. Let's talk about the price. Naturally. What about this? You won't convince me with that. This is a waste of time. I'd like to discuss the price. Why not? Satisfied? That's not enough. Well, that's a decent price. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Good morning. God bless. Could that be the Smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, 
He asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Good day to you. And another thing. What about our Sir Radzik? Sir Hanush gave him the whole of Perkstein for his use. He seems to be bearing up well considering all he's lost. How do you like Ratai? Uh, it's well fortified and well situated. And they won't get us as easy here as they did in Skalitz. And there's everything a man could want. Armourer, swordsmith, apothecary, taverns. It could have turned out a lot worse. How are the Scalitz refugees faring? Oh, me and the rest of Sir Radzik's men are all right. We live at the castle and we've got everything we need. But the others are just making it day to day. And they've lost everything. It's charity and arms for them and the locals ain't as generous as they was. God knows how much longer we'll be stuck here. It ain't good. How do you like the new castle? It's a fine place. About the same size as Scalitz Castle. Sir Hanush don't mind lending it to Sir Radzik, because he's got an even bigger one at the other end of town. Have you ever seen a town with two castles before? Have you heard anything about those savages who attacked us? I heard they're called Cubans. Sigismund brought them here from Hungary. By all accounts, we got off lightly. They say, in other places, they impaled people on spikes, skinned them alive, and even worse, fucking heathen swine. Thanks. Good luck to you.
Good day to you. Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labour. But you, you've got coin. Farewell. Let's fight. I told you, don't come back to me till you've beaten Stephen and Ringlet, got it? God be with you. God be with you. What can I do for you? May the Lord watch over you. I'm from Scalit. Good folk. You all know what happened there. Help your neighbour. Good health to you, sir. Good morning. May the Lord watch over you. Greetings. What do you need? Take care.
Got out to you, sir. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Hmm. I don't know. Good luck to you. God be with you. Do you need anything? Goodbye. Good day to you. What do you need? I'd like you to show me some hunting tricks. Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Maybe another time. Good luck to you. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? May the Lord watch over you.
God be with you, good sir. Take care now. I'm from Scalitz and, well, God be with you. You're Stephen, aren't you? Milan tells me he won't fight me until I beat you. Oh, yeah? And why would you want to? Well, never mind. I'll fight you if you pay me. What do you say? Yeah, forget it. That's a swindle. Good luck to you. Jesus Christ be praised. Farewell. My respects to you. Farewell. Jesus Christ be praised. Good luck to you. God be with you. Good luck to you. the winter good health to you
Jesus Christ be praised. Good luck to you. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Perkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, well, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself.
I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> What concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man, and your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. 
I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword?
because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour, and the dead man keeps no promises. woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? Look. No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. So Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but. How do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant father, he's a blacksmith, and recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, You'd like to enter my service. Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> I probably will. 
I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. But let's be clear, you're the one paying him. <laughs> Captain, Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Thank you.